All right, so this is going to be a tour of my grandma's house, my grandparents' house. Um, it's a little over 14,000 square feet. It is a Rambler, and it is from the mid-70s is when it was built, and pretty much everything in this house has been replaced with something new. So um, they've got an electric cooktop, um, granite countertops. Um, recently, they just got this new sink. This is granite and this new faucet here that has the pull out hose and whatnot, you know so that's new and that's nice um, a new can opener new knives and a new toaster so yeah I guess they're going with the whole modern look except for this 12 year old Kenmore that's had um, the valve pump for the ice maker and the water replaced like two three times um, which I replaced and the piping down there has been replaced by me granite countertops over here these counter or these cabinets and stuff they all look old but they're new um, a GE microwave and then a black and decker coffee pot they used to have a matching coffee pot but that got blown up or something like that so down here is the hallway um, new carpet. Um, there's new carpet through the whole house. Um, here's the computer room. Um, the color is very surprising. Straight purple. So I'm showing a lot of fuzziness on here. Um, her computer, which is a from I don't know 2007. It's a compact. Um, Two something uh, gigahertz processor and two gigs of RAM, 19 inch monitor, and this desk which I assembled, and a crappy HP printer, and a closet with her router and modem and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, it's a Netgear wireless G and um, Cox internet and phone and a vacuum cleaner. These. Uh, Closet doors have also been replaced through the whole house. Um, my uncle was staying in this room, um, but yeah, he's gone now. It's green. It's a dark green. Also with a closet, which they've since cleaned out since he's been gone. And obviously one of these little things is broken through, so that one's about to break through. That's not good. But, um, oh, that one's about to break through, too. That's just great. Um, in this video, I will also get a video of the HVAC system for Exitome and any other person who wants that. I hung that up, too. Put it up a little high. And I also put in the cable that goes through the wall and stuff, so it looks pretty and good. I've done a lot of electrical and wiring through in this house and stuff like that. Here's the closet here. You can see the original color before she painted it. This, this, like, I don't even know what color. So, that stuff. Here's the master bedroom. Um, it's pink. My grandma's a big pink and rose fanatic. So, this light right here, you guys can see there's an extension cord that comes out through here. And then it goes all the way over here into this um, outlet, which is controlled by this switch. And all the switch plates and everything in this house have been replaced. So there's probably a good two, three hundred dollars in switch plates and air vents and stuff like that. I'll also get you guys a video of where all these are. Um, and here is the master bedroom bathroom. It's got the lighthouse theme going on here. Um, it's got a shower, um, a toilet. All the toilets have been replaced in this house too. This is only two, but you know, this house is definitely not big, but it's definitely cozy. So, um, yeah, this thing needs to be replaced, but that'll be done. Someday.
So there's one air register vent. Um, there's another one. Um, there's one vent per room, and I'll show you guys the downstairs when we get done. The upstairs in here and the other bedroom is another vent. It's a gold color. Um, and then in here, there's another one. These vents actually look pretty good. This one's like a brushed nickel. So, there that is. Um, here's the hallway bathroom. Recently redone. Pink and stuff. New, you know, things and such. Um, a Delta faucet and stuff that I had to replace the uh, O-rings and everything in this side I think it was and this is coming up again so that has to be refixed and this is brand new and there's the cabinet type deal um, all the uh, hardware for the doors and everything has been replaced done by me it was truly um, this is actually supposed to be the living room huh. they, have, they actually need this replaced right here which I'll be doing they have an apex alarm system um, it's a Honeywell unit things like that my grandpa's baking the sailboats here's their sailboat so that's their sailboat and the grandma and grandpa and then another closet here your entryway closet, all the stuff and things for the uh, fireplace, which is a pellet fit fed stove. Oh, my grandma, very big on teddy bears, um, things like that. Then there's another cabinet over here full of them. There's the thing for the pellets. There's another vent. Um, all new furniture. And there's another vent right there under this new table, um, a new chair, and it's electric. So, I'm here to see my money. And the couch is also electric. Um, this is ridiculous. They have a 37-inch Vizio HD with a Direct TV HD and DVR and stuff like that and a clock that always falls off the TV and then that right here and there's a deck out there these curt blinds are new new lamp new table new things like that one thing my Grandpa's boss got them for Christmas one time. Here's the fireplace. Like I said, it's pellet fed. And the top there. Um, it's by Brickwell. And here's what it looks like inside. Um, I replaced the fan motors, the exhaust one, and the one that blew us here, the hot air out for them. That was a $500 fix. Here's the control panel and stuff and it's just an insert into the existing fireplace and then here's it with the thing here's a ceiling fan um, it's just a cheapy one that they got for in here and like I said they used to have their living room set up in here and the dining room set up here but they switched that as you can tell the chandelier or the dining room um, like I said Grandpa, sailboats, and stuff. So, they got a new picture recently. My grandpa's big on eagles, too. Here's the thermostat. It's an old Honeywell. Um, I'm gonna get a good shot of this since I know a lot of you like that. Um, it's got auxiliary heating, they have a heat pump. 12 of the country's most beloved oh, celebrities shit. embark on monumental Sorry for that. explorations into their family history. And there's my grandpa's parents. Um, my grandma's parents both have passed away. Um, but inside the refrigerator or the freezer, 
and then beer. Always get the beer. So that's the uh, upstairs. Oh, and there's another vent. And I showed you guys the rest of the vents in here. And here's the return. It needs to be desperately cleaned. But you can see where it goes to the wall right here. So this is oversized. I also put new hardware in here to hold it back on the wall. Just because it didn't stay on the wall very well. So going downstairs. Um, and stuff. It's not finished. But um, yeah, here's the electrical panel. Um, 200 amp main service so electrical wires and stuff um, they have a sump pump over here under this thing here they had a dehumidifier but that went um, a new dryer it's a uh, Kenmore and then they've got this thing's actually a few years old it's a Maytag but it, um, it replaced an old um, GE um, here's this sink, which actually looks like it's been cleaned recently, but actually they got really good water pressure here. Oh shit, that thing overhangs their fuck. Um, they got a refrigerator down here for, you know, meats and such, and drinks. Ooh, Pepsi. Um, and here's the uh, HVAC, the air handler, and then there's the branch duct that goes along and then goes on each side. Right here is my grandpa's workshop. I bet you he doesn't have it unlocked. I can unlock that. Actually, I need to get in there to get something. But it is American Standard. No, it's not. I don't even know who makes it, but here's a shut off. And here I don't know what you guys need from this here's a serial number the model number um, Noradine I don't know who makes that but for all you guys who need this you can hear the compressors running on this thing and such um, here's the return air right here goes under there, there's the air filter right there, filtrate. Um, and here's all their pellets. I remember me and my grandma a few years ago went and got two tons worth of pellets. No, a ton worth of pellets, I'm sorry. We had to make two trips in her F-150 and uh, bottomed, out, bottomed out the suspension. Good stuff. Um, here's their patio furniture down here just because they leave it out when they go out of, off the deck. Um, just, you know, some random miscellaneous things. Like that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, my grandpa has a rifle in his closet. Um, and four handguns under their bed. And two of which are loaded. Oh and yeah, here's the new heat pump. Or the, not the heat pump. It's a Kenmore Power Mister 6. They had a Power Mister 5, I think. Before that, this is new. The, um, I don't even remember. Obviously, this wasn't broke the last time I turned it off, and I didn't turn it off too long ago. But that's old and crusty. This is, I don't even know. But you guys can see that this stuff needs to be replaced. The insulation needs to be replaced too. I mean, if you see this color, it goes on through the whole basement and such. So, yeah. Um, they could finish this. I mean, these windows leak. A shit ton and stuff. There's the outside. There's for draining into the sump pump. And here's my my mowers and equipment. Um, I've got my Craftsman, my pressure washer, my leaf blower, and my weed whacker down here. And a pretty nice heavy duty hose. Um, that window's broke. Um, that window broke. I mean, this is really thin glass. So, and that window all the way over there leaks a lot. And then there's the main um, drainage for the home, right along there. So, that's that. 
and I'm gonna go outside and show you guys the compressor and such the condenser and you know, I don't even know what it's called but um like I said let me get you guys a shot of the carpet again um, so this is a brown color very nice and good my grandpa works in the carpet manufacturer so this is a blue a dark blue I don't know if they left that open or not and here's green so there and here just like the walls purple carpet um, it's very it's more purple when a lot of light shines on it and stuff but y'all can't see it in the video so yeah Woo. so let's go outside and show you guys some stuff but like the apex alarm they have uh, alarm things on every door and window so outside um, they've I don't even know I think it's like 0.7 acres they have they have a good size in this garage y'all can't see it but my grandpa and my uncle built and here's my grandma's truck it's a 2001 Ford F-150 I think it's 2001 or 2000 Ford F-150 with the 5.4 liter V8 Triton Triton lots and lots of horsepower with this thing spins these brand new Michelin tires where's it say Michelin on here well, these are brand new tires spins those on oh, brand new running boards um, but yeah it hasn't been cleaned since I guess I last cleaned it um, now also here it's got a, uh, a topper or top or a Leonard top and stuff you guys can see I don't know where all these tools went but yeah um, the Craftsman 4 cycle um, curve shaft the Craftsman 6.75 horsepower um, Craftsman push mower old Craftsman uh, wheeled um, wheeled um, weed whacker um, a 5 horsepower Tecumseh and the DYT 4000 under its tarp and an AC electric blower a shop vac my grandpa never uses the Troy built uh, 2600 PSI pressure washer oh they put this back out here huh that's cool but like I said this was all built by my uncle and grandpa and stuff like that um, I'm gonna have to get who would know a new sign <coughs> this actually has sparkles in it and this lighthouse this thing's old as hell I mean look how pitted and rusted it is but this light right here works like brand new this thing is <coughs> oh shit years and years old as you can tell by the pitting it so works great anyway um, walking back to the thing y'all can't see anything but the light on the camera is like actually really bright um, they got a new air handler but the condensing unit or whatever the fuck the top fell off but it's a carrier I don't know when the top fell off but as you guys can see I'll try to get in on that oh this thing's beautiful so you guys can see I know XC Dumb's gonna love this and shit so that's what that looks like let me get you guys here's the shutoff for it let me get you the sticker um oh frick let me turn my light it's on auto Split system heat pump for outdoor use. Nice. I don't know where all the data is on these stickers. Huh. I'm thinking I'm thinking this is the thermostat 
Yeah, it's a thermostat and your lines and stuff, and there's windows. And here's part of the deck that's old as fuck and needs to be replaced. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Old ass Kenmore. Um, piece of shit. I mean, my uncle can cook on it good, but look, I mean, that thing's completely rusted through and broke. So, yeah. But it still works. And my uncle can cook on it really good. And there's some neighbors over there with some good stuff in their um, garage. Or not their garage, their thingamajigger. Oh, here's the meter. Um, here's a Cox box. Cox box. Cox um, for Verizon. Um, they don't have Verizon, so this is just their telephone. This is, I don't even know what the hell that is. Um, Cox put this in when they put the internet in. And here's the meter for you who are interested in meters. So, there's the meter and shit like that. And there's the dryer vent. There's the DirecTV satellite box or satellite dish. Um, like I said, HD and such nature like that. And their garage and then there's a carport over here where my grandpa's truck is. I think it's a 2005 Expedition or X Explorer, I'm sorry. So, what is Laura? Um, he's got, my grandpa was in the military for 20 years, um, and things like that, actually, I can show you guys that, oh yeah, big Bills fan, um, my uncle's a big Bears fan, um, here's this, very worn out, needs to be replaced, and you guys can't, well, you guys can see half of the dead grass, so that's pretty, and then the white vinyl fence, that goes along the whole property and that's new that is new I've never seen that before so I guess the um, alarm company got bought out but I don't know they used to have an eight ADT one inside the house um, that or the front porch things like that uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my grandpa's award thingies um, from being in the military for so long in his room oh look at that quality work right there look at that quality driven screw but um we're gonna cover this up his name 20 years in there he was Retirement 2002. So, guys, that's been a tour of my grandma and grandpa's house. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video of the heating and AC. So, um, if you guys, have any questions? Just let me know, and I'll try to answer it for you guys. Hi, right, guys, thanks for watching. Please raise my video. I'm gonna show you guys my grandpa's workshop because actually, I need to get in there. So, how I get in there is this. No. And no. No. Where the heck is it? There it is. Bud Light, everybody. Oh, yeah, look at this old radio. Wait, wait. Look, look, look how long it takes to warm up. Oh. Hello. F. Oh. Qualifying classic plan required. Mail and rebate card now. Oh, no. 
So that's that thing. That thing's pretty cool. Look at the plug for that thing. Not an electrical fire hazard at all. Sorry this video is so long, guys. But I thought I'd give you guys an in-depth tour. So here we go with this thing. All I do with this, pry the door, put my camera on. That y'all can't even y'all won't be able to see this, so why not zoom it in? You gotta love that zoom. That's not even all the way in. There you go, no key necessary. Looks like he's been working on something in here. But this is my grandpa's workshop. Um, he originally had it to right here, going along here. And I had my workshop over here, but then he extended it. And this is where it's at now. So, Craftsman Tools is his favorite brand. Craftsman. Um, tape, things. I mean, I, I got a tour of this thing before. But I never showed you guys. Craftsman, Delta, Craftsman, Black and Decker. Here's all the stuff for his boat and things like that. It's a 27 foot sailboat, diesel motor, um, things like that. Paint, Bristolian, cool stuff. Um, plywood, and an old vice. Old vice. And a CD player that goes on the boat. And here, a whole bunch of extension cords. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, please rate, subscribe, and comment. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for taking the time to watch this whole video. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate out some parts, like the AC and such, um, just for you guys. So. This will be all in one video, but there's going to be separate parts, just if you guys are interested in the HVAC. But you've come up this far and watched this already, so I don't know why I'm telling you now. But thanks for watching. Please write, subscribe, and comment.